Market participants ignored the release of US strong economic data. Only the Nasdaq stock index slightly rose after the report on the growth of business activity in the US non manufacturing sector. It seems that traders focus their full attention on the development of the conflict in the Middle East, and so far they are not interested in the news on US macroeconomic data. Yesterday, we speculated about the likelihood of a real threat from Iran. Today, however, investors priced in the consequences of Iranian military attacks against the United States. Reportedly, Iran has launched missile strikes on a number of American military bases. This news did not cause panic across the market. The US dollar as a safe haven asset is trading near the 97.00 level. The yen inched up amid the news of the Iranian attacks. However, later it slid down to the level of 108.40 as Donald Trump did not provide any comments on this issue. So the dollar yen pair may decline rapidly. We also know exactly where the curve of the currency pair will turn in case of a real war between the United States and Iran. At the same time, traders of the Australian dollar take notice of fundamental data. They run mute in over the possibility of monetary policy easing. Investors believe that the RBA will cut the interest rate due to a slowdown in economic growth caused by wildfires that had destroyed millions of hectares of land and thousands of animals. In many regions, people abandoned the houses uh, fleeing from the fire. The Australian dollar remains under pressure as we expected in yesterday's release. It sank below the support level of uh, 0.6880. Thus, the Aussie is most likely to resume its downward movement to the level of 0.6880. 6830. We continue to keep close steps on market development. Subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with the latest Forex news. See you!